I went to live events as a young boy and I was hooked. I saw Bruno San Martino, Stan Stasiak, Tor Kamada, Pedro Morales, the Valiant Brothers, and Captain Lou Albano. I, I was captured by the personalities in the world of professional wrestling. Fast forward to the 80s. While going to Southern Connecticut State University, training at World Gym with Mike Katz and Jerry Mastrangelo, bouncing in all the local clubs, I would see and train side by side with all the WWE veterans. Back then it was the WWF. Don Morocco, Mr. Fuji, Ivan Quincy, Jesse the Body Ventura, the Samoans, the Tonga Kid, and let me tell you something, when I partied with the Samoans, man, we had the time of our lives. Peyaoi, Melehini, Kahekane, Mahalo to all my Samoan brothers. My friends and I in college, thank you, real deal. We decided to talk ourselves in to becoming professional wrestlers. Me and Sandy. So we showed up at the Quest facility in Orange, Connecticut, where I ran into tough Tony Altamore, Rob Altamore, Paul Romo was there, Tony Garia, Tony Abbas, David Schultz. And Mario Mancini. The training, although standard for the 1980s, was a secret chore for me. I didn't tell anybody. And I'm not telling anybody until right now. The only one that knows about this is Mario Mancini. I have been in a significant accident where I broke both my ankles in six places. I broke my lower back. I couldn't walk for over a year and a half and I was in a wheelchair for six months. I never told anybody because I bounced back and I was in incredible shape. 